Hi family. How are you? I hope y'all are fantastic. I am well. I uh, pull a few cards on the energy for y'all. I also saw something really interesting today. The birds were talking to me again. Um, this time I saw a hawk sitting on a telephone pole. And first I heard the crows. <laughs> and I literally, I never even heard the crows make these sounds. They sound like insane. Um, they were losing their mind. So that was the message I was getting. And then I walked up on the scene and I saw this hawk sitting on the telephone pole. The, the crows are accustomed to hanging out on. Well, so they're dive bombing them and freaking out and everything else. But what it told me was <laughs> the collective has gotten to a high enough vibration and a high enough perspective that it is just driving the counterforce batty. <laughs> this hawk literally was not, was barely bothered by these crows. But anyways, I did pull a few cards. First card out is 51, Sandpiper Spirit. Be playful. Spirit is asking the collective to just do whatever's fun, whatever floats your boat. That doesn't hurt anybody else, but my collective doesn't hurt people. For fun. Um, 27. You may be doing this in isolation. 45. Sad embrace. Another nine. Uh, this is a portal. We're, we're at the precipice of a brand new world. Okay. And <clears throat> possibly you've been alone in isolation, embracing your emotions. And look at this card. It just jumps out at me that it's blue. <clears throat> <coughs> Excuse me. Blue is the color of the, the heart chakra, truth, speaking truth. But anyways, you're embracing the truth and whatever sadness comes with that, you're embracing it. You're looking at the big picture. Um, you're a visionary. <clears throat> and you're... You're looking at inspired ideas. You're coming up with inspired ideas. 26, the flamingo spirit. <clears throat> Embrace the in-between. This is your kind of sitting at the precipice of this portal. In-between worlds. Processing. And observing. 34, observation. See that spider? You're sitting in your web. Your web of destiny. And you're just waiting for what's meant to come to you. And observing what's going on around you. As you can see one world and you're kind of sitting in another And as you do this, as you sit in isolation and embrace your feelings and the truth, and you look through this portal into a new world, um, observing the world and people going literally nutty around you, <laughs> um, as you do this, the world is observing you too. They're starting to pay attention. 
there's a new group of people waking up that I can feel. And Spirit wants you to know it's okay to be different. This is what's grabbing people's attention and helping them to understand what's actually going on in the world right now. You are gifted. The world can see this. The humans are starting to see this. I have no idea how to say that. 21 Tao Setians. Resilient, bold, and sassy. Um, you're resilient. Be bold. <laughs> Be sassy. That crazy, wild spirit of yours is what is grabbing the attention of the newly awakening. The authenticity of your message. Your desire is within reach. This is something you've been hoping for to kind of reach that audience of people that have been fairly clueless up until this point. The truth is really starting to shine through to the general population of human beings. Reaching your destination. Your destiny is within reach. Reaching your destination. The web of destiny. And this is what people are observing. It gives people hope in very uncertain times. <clears throat> Chosen, we might take for granted that we have no fear um, because we have been on death's doorstep so many times and escaped death. It makes, it, it gives us a sense of um, indestructibility. I mean, yeah, we can hurt ourselves and yeah, it hurts. And I hope to not do it anymore. But it doesn't take us out. <clears throat> what was the point of that? I guess I'll come back to it. Talk about your feelings, inverted. <clears throat> You're not talking about how you feel with anybody at this time. You've forgiven everybody that's meant to be forgiven, people that hurt you inadvertently by accident. Um, not people standing against Monaru's plan, the fallen angels and their minions. <clears throat> um, Jupiter ideals and magnitude. inverted you're not forgiving the people with these inverted ideals that were abusing their power 
and trying to isolate you. Those are the entities that we came to trap here. So we can go have some fun. Because they're a bunch of Karens. You know what I'm saying? Shizzle. We just want to have some fun. It's not that much to ask. <clears throat> it's really simple. Just to be able to enjoy life. Have our freedom. Miss Spiderweb. Here's Destiny coming up again. Reconsider your alliances. <clears throat> Make new connections. Not everybody's coming with you. You'll make new friends. Um, <clears throat> we're leaving behind this codependency. The era of codependency. Like, um, you really don't need anybody or anything. You can manifest it, it whatever it is that you desire. <clears throat> but not when you're in the energy of people that are trying to destroy your peace. Even people that inadvertently destroy your peace are a problem. They need to catch up before they can hang out at our party. No Karens allowed. Um, it sounds like we're going to have a party. <laughs> Doesn't it? <clears throat> Let me switch decks. The chariot to the nine of cups. It gives me like a Merkaba feeling. Like <clears throat> the chariot, your spirit's vessel, not vessel, your spirit's. I don't know why I'm getting this um, picture of a sperm in a sperm tail. It's like you're the sperm head and your Merkaba's the tail. You just have to tell, you just have to like tell the tail where to go, when to go. To your wishes, you have to tell your Merkava to go in the direction of your intentions, your greatest desires, your wildest dreams. <clears throat> Some kind of recovery of money. <clears throat> so the inverted high priestess, um, this person who's been pretending to, high priest, high priestess, this person who's been pretending to be you, possibly trying to steal your messages and, and do all that stuff. Right now, they're extremely imbalanced. Inverted temperance. They've lost their mind. Like I said, they're like screeching in ways I've never heard someone screech before. Like it's, um, yeah, they're really out there. They've lost a, uh, um, touch with reality. Because, Nine of Cups again, coming up, you're getting your wishes. You're getting a lot of love coming in, too. There's a lot of love in those cups. And it's all coming to you. 
You're the spider waiting in the middle of the web. Waiting for your threads, the threads of your web to bring you your destiny. You're connected right in the center. You're connected way out here. <clears throat> You're a magnet to what it is that you want. Your Merkava, your spiritual vehicle is going to help you to avoid <clears throat> these perceived tower moments. It's almost like it's attached to a track, like it's a, a, a train. You know, you can't really derail it. Is going to your destiny. So the counter force is dealing with some major towers right now. And that's possibly part of the reason they're feeling so imbalanced. But I think the majority of the reason that they're feeling so imbalanced right now is because of all of this new moon magic that they've been doing that has, it's completely not, in any way effective at all. So <clears throat> from my understanding, it's bouncing off of you and it's going right back to them. And it's not looking good because they wanted you to run into every obstacle possible to stop you on your mission. As I say, it inverted three of pentacles to stop you from your spiritual mission. It's hard to work for the universe, for love, for God, when you're dealing with um, instabil financial instability. Inverted three of pentacles again. And <clears throat> this is exactly what they wanted. They did not want you to be a mouthpiece for love, for the universe, for God. And seeing as these spells that they... <laughs> You're not heartbroken. You're healed. It just only works when you're not healed. They're finding they can't attach their doom and gloom to you anymore. And since you won't be around them, they can't poison you. And since you haven't been around them in so long, they can't talk crap about you anymore. Because everybody knows they don't know you. All of the ways that they've been trying to get you are failing. Miserably. <clears throat> Now's the time that they're feeling the repercussions of their actions. It's starting to trickle in. Just like the miracles are starting to trickle into your life, the doom and gloom is starting to trickle into their life. I heard it's more of like a, a downpour. They've had some kind of revelation. Um, five of Wands. They've had some sort of revelation that they can't compete with you. They thought that they could compete um, with their fake copycat agenda. And they really, they just are realizing now there is no competing with 
an earth angel. It's no competition. And you can't fake it until you make it. And you can't copy the energy. You might be able to copy the words, copy the manner, mannerisms, all that stuff. But you can't copy the energy. You can't copy that star power. <clears throat> That's God. Knight of Pentacles. You've worked long and hard at perfecting your craft of being your authentic you. It's not like you just woke up one day and your life was flipping perfect. You worked long and hard. For God, I just heard. A warrior for God. They act like you just were just chosen by God to have this connection. No, it was a lot of work. Yeah, you were, you were born as your own unique soul, powerful soul, but you were born human just like everybody else. You had to work long and hard as a warrior for God to be able to maintain a connection like this. And they think they can just come in and steal it somehow. No, you don't. You can't steal a connection with God. And it's that connection that makes people special. Because they connect with their higher self, their master soul. The one that's unlike any other. Powerful in its own right. Completely unique. And knows what the hell is going on. <laughs> Page of Wands to the world. Um, these people are getting the message online. That you are getting your wishes come true. They're seeing that your energy has risen to an elevation that they cannot compete with. They can't touch. They can't fake. They can't hide you from the rest of the world is what I just heard. You're being presented to the rest of the world by God. And there's nothing they can do about it. God wants you seen. That's what the times call for. You heal and you find your peace. And then you show the rest of the world how to do it. The ones who want to listen. <clears throat> All right. I think I'm going to leave this one here. I love you, family. Thank you so much for your generous donations. I flipping love you. I love you guys. I miss when I'm not making videos for you. Because I can feel your energy. Like we're in the same room. It's amazing. You all are amazing. And I appreciate you so much. I'm so glad that you are warriors for God with me. It's nice not to be alone anymore. So I'll get back to you very soon. Have a beautiful day, night, whatever it is. Thank you.